we should all agree the answer is not to defund the police. It's to fund the police. <laughs> fund them. I know it works. Investigating crime prevention and community policing, cops who walk the beat, who know the neighborhood, and who can restore trust and safety. Community policing is the notion that law enforcement are better able to serve communities in which they are not considered an outsider. This practice then assigns officers to a specific area so they can grow familiar with community members and community problems. While community policing seems to improve relations between communities and law enforcement, evidence of its effectiveness uh, in reducing crime is contested. One study found that while community policing improves public opinions of police, it has limited effects on crime rates. Whether community policing changes how police police is an entirely different question. And so when we ask of the community impact of community policing, I think we have to dig deeper. We have to examine the policing function itself which is to ask, even if police officers and communities do establish mutual trust and respect, is community policing the best way to advance public safety and improve the quality of life of people to prevent entanglement with our justice system in the first place? I also wonder, well, what is the impact of community policing on black and brown communities? Some people will argue that uh, policing uh, will actually serve to isolate black and brown youth, as studies have shown that youth often work to avoid interactions with officers, meaning that they may begin to steer clear of community events with police presence. Many advocates therefore argue that the best way to decrease crime, again, uh, another aim of community policing, is to invest in historically disinvested communities plagued by decades of redlining, uh, by segregation, and by unequal distribution of resources. What I truly hope the Biden administration considers is this, understanding that criminal legal policy is largely a local matter. How can the White House or the federal government more broadly use its unique grant-making authority to truly get at the tough problems associated with policing mistrust uh, and with mass incarceration?